interviews with business owners and veteran executives who share their wisdom and expertise to help you de-stress, free up time, and make more money. Profits of IT. Welcome back to the Profits of IT. I am Jim Punzenberger, your host and the creator of the Managed Prospecting System. If you're looking to generate new clients or partners without cold calling, ad spend, or spamming, be sure to check out managedprospectingsystem.com. Got a wonderful guest with me today. She is a mover and shaker in the industry. She's a part of uh, multiple organizations outside of work, working with women uh, specifically. She's also a mother and um, also works in partnerships. So Darian, please uh, introduce yourself and tell us a quick bit about what you do in the industry. Perfect. No, thank you so much, Jim. Excited to be on. Um, hey, everyone, Darian Maples. I am actually the managing director for Girls in Tech. It's one of a, one of an amazing organizations. It's a very large organization, global, to help women um, get into the industry of technology and to kind of stop that gender gap to make sure that there's a place for everyone in tech. And we help with boot camps. We help with just all kinds of events virtually in person around the world to keep everyone engaged um, with girls in tech, and we help college and career women around the world to focus on that. I'm also a senior manager of business development and partner integrations at a cybersecurity company. Um, been a part of that for several years, just engaging with several partners to make sure they're up to date with all the cybersecurity trends that we do. But yeah, I've been in the industry for a while. I love cybersecurity. I love being a part of this industry. I love helping others get into tech and cyber by showing them ways to transition and just, you know, being better in, in, in quality of the industry. Cool. And uh, what be something interesting about yourself outside of work? Outside of work, like you stated, I am a new mom. So I'm learning the things. Congratulations. Of Thank you. My son, he's one month. So just finding oh, out. Very the new. <laughs> yeah, very new to this. So it's just been a whole new process of just scheduling, getting sleep, you know, working. So just trying to find my path in that, but out on the outside, just finding out ways to keep and staying fun with, for my son, just being, you know, a super mom for him. <laughs> uh, yeah. That's, I suppose, uh, priority number one in life is your son. Yeah, definitely. So I guess shifting back to work, uh, what would you say is your superpower when it comes to business or, uh, what are keys? some of your keys to success and how can others learn from that to be more successful themselves? Yeah, I think my superpower is networking. I've always been called the networking queen in my group of friends or colleagues. So I'll always like connect others and be like, hey, you know, I have a friend that's in this or definitely in the industry of cyber, you know, everyone either, you know, they'll start out in a company and go to another one and just, we just keep that family bond in the industry. So it's always ways to connect and stay networked um, in the industry. But I find ways to kind of collaborate, put events on and um, introduce others, you know, being that go-to person to send out an email, just trying to find ways to keep everyone connected. But uh, I've, I think my superpower is just networking and networking connecting and connecting people. Yeah. So if my superpower isn't networking and connecting people, how could I make that my superpower? What are like uh, any tips uh, on how I can do that? Yeah, you know, stay engaged. Like I think when people when people connect, they try to find out too much information. I think what you need to do is just connect with everyone, even outside of your industry, you know, not just with cyber, not just in IT. I think every company is technology. So just try to find out what everyone is doing and just staying connected that way and getting involved with different things really helps. But um, I would just say the best way of just networking for myself and to make it a superpower is just really getting to know people, asking those questions and um, detailed questions and making sure that you're having a variety and a diverse group of colleagues or even friends just to just stay afloat in the industry. Any specific questions that you know, are at top of mind that somebody could ask? Yeah. So, you know, I think the biggest thing I'm always asking others is what do you do or how do you, how do you schedule your time? You know, how can we connect? How can we make things better together? 
Um, I see you're doing this. How can we collaborate more? Is this something that you're looking to do? Um, you know, definitely being a part of Girls Attack, we, we actually do a lot of boot camps with UX design. We do a lot of boot camps in, you know, transitioning to cybersecurity. We also do a lot of things with um, Scrum and um, design thinking. So I try to just find ways to reach out to people to see like, hey, what are you doing right now? That is there any way we can collaborate or you be a part of this? be a speaker, you know, connecting, putting an event on together. So just asking questions to see what they're doing. Cause I think that's the coolest question to ask anyone. Like, what do you do for a living? What so, do you do for a living? Yeah. Got it. Any other thoughts for, uh, around this? I think, you know, also another superpower of mine is, you know, patience. And I, I think with the powers of just, the industry or just working, you really have to be patient in cyber. Um, there's so much change. There's so much information. And so many people are just, you know, definitely what's going on in the world today with, you know, the tech layoffs and everything. I think another thing is patience. And I just want to make sure that, you know, people can kind of try to find that superpower in themselves is to stay patient, you know, make sure that you just keep that mental health good because things can come and go and it's just crazy. Things can come and go. And uh, I suppose nothing's permanent in this industry. Right. Any uh, final thoughts before we wrap up here? No, I'm just, it's, I love, you know, this podcast. I, I've checked it out. You know, I thank you so much for reaching out. I think it's really cool to well, find different welcome. people in the industry and it's really amazing. It's been my pleasure having you on. Uh, is there anybody that uh, should be reaching out to you and why should they be reaching out to you? Yeah, reach out to me if you have questions about transitioning into tech, cybersecurity, if you have questions about Girls in Tech. I'm the person, um, girlsintech.org. Uh, that is our main website. I also Girls. go by Darian Technology, but that's about it. Girlsintech.org. Uh, we can also include some information in the show notes. Um, and, uh, thank you again for having, I guess, I thank you for sh freely sharing your knowledge and, uh, I hope that, uh, it was a, been a fun experience for you. It's been amazing. Thank you so much, Jim. Well, thank you until next time on the profits of it. I am Jim Punzenberger, your host and the creator of the managed prospecting system. Be sure to check out manage prospecting Thank you for tuning in to the profits of it. Please smash that like button, subscribe and share. 